Hi everybody, this is Black Rider Ranger. Remember in Skylander Spa's adventure, the only Skylander who's a dark one is Dark Spyro at that time, and he was available for the 2DS version of the starter pack of Skylander Spa's adventure, and he became a single pack later on. In Skylander Swap Force, Dark Stealth Elf had a first glimpse of being the second Skylander to be the dark. I had a picture of that on Keizo before the starter pack of Skylander Swap Force The Dark Edition was released. And speaking of starter packs and Dark Editions, Swap Force had a new version of Dark Spyro, Dark Stealth Elf, Dark Washbuckler, Dark Blast Zone, and Dark Slobber Tooth. In Skylander's Trap Team, we only had three who are Dark Skylanders. Dark Snapshot, Dark Food Fight, and Dark Wildfire. And for some reason we also have a Dark Element with Nightmare and Blackout. I was like, mm, that's a bit odd. I mean, you got variants who are dark and you got elements that is dark. Wouldn't that confuse kids a little? Never mind. And then we have Skylander Superchargers, which will feature a ton of dark stuff. For the PS3, 4, Xbox One, and Xbox 360, we're having dark versions of Spitfire, Super Shot Stealth Elf, this is the second time Stealth Elf has ever got a dark version of herself, Dark Hot Streak, and Dark She Shadow. It's kind of odd because Sea Shadow is a dark elemental vehicle, and yet it's having its own dark version of itself. That's a bit confusing. And not only that, but it's also got this new item called the Chaos Trophy. Now I heard it unlocks some gameplay of Chaos. And he has a brand new vehicle called Doom Jet. Where have I heard that before? Oh yeah, if you swap Doomstone with Boom Jet, you get that particular name. And there's a bit of a rhythm to that. I mean, if you put the top half of Boom Jet on the bottom half of Blast Zone, you get Boom Zone, which rhymes with Doomstone. If you put the top half of Blast Zone with the bottom half of Doomstone, you get Blast Stone, which also rhymes with Blast Zone. I just love rhythms, don't I? For the Wii version and the Wii U version, it's different. Instead of Super Shot Stealth though, despite the fact that she's featured in every regular pack of Superchargers, it's Spitfire that remains in the Dark versions. And we do get a glimpse of the Dark version of Turbocharged Donkey Kong and Hammer Slam Bowser, as well as the Clown Cruiser and the Barrel Blaster. They're all Dark editions. And I was like, hmm. This could give me the opportunity to get both the Skylander Superchargers game for the Wii U and the Skylander Superchargers Racing for the original Wii. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Number one, I'm going to try and convince my dad to get the Wii U in England at game, because that's the cheapest price I could know I know for the Wii U. I mean in Malaysia it's 250 pounds. Which is about over a thousand ringgit. Number two, I'm gonna get the Dark Edition of Skylander Superchargers for the Wii U, which contains Dark Donkey Kong, Dark Spitfire, Dark Hot Street, Dark Barrel Blaster, and the Chaos Trap. Then afterwards, I'm gonna get the regular version of the Superchargers Racing for the Wii that contains regular Bowser, regular Stealth Elf, and the Cloud Cruiser. And number four, I'm gonna get Dark Stealth Elf. Dark Sea Shadow, regular Donkey Kong, regular Barrel Blaster, Dark Bowser, the Dark Clown Cruiser, and the regular Spitfire, if it's not going to be a single pack, on eBay. That's my plan to get the Skylanders Dark Edition for Skylander Superchargers. What are your plans for it? Are you just going to skip the Dark Edition and just go for the regular, or do you want the Dark as well as the regular? I hope you've enjoyed this video. 